Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Inkenna. I'm responsible for everything that goes on here. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are gonna be covering another nursing myths video. So if you guys haven't seen any of my previous nursing myth videos, I'll make sure that I link one up here so that you guys can go check it out. So diving right into today's topic, the myth of today is that if I want to advance within the profession, I need to go back to school. And this is false. I will preface this by saying that nursing school is a lot. Um, I still feel emotionally drained and even the thought of going back to school right this instant, it's a lot for me. Um, it scares me. I think back to nursing school and just what my life was like within nursing school and I um, <laughs> that's what halts me from going back to school. Long term do I want to go back to school? Yes. However right now I'm just really trying to take it all in and even being a new graduate bedside nurse that is a lot within itself so I'm trying to get my footing um, and really take it all in and just become the best bedside nurse, best competent the most competent bedside nurse that I can be before I dive into something new. So to answer the question, you can get certifications, years of experience, and simply you can look for other non-bedside nursing jobs. So to dive a little bit deeper into this, there are certain certifications that you can get that will elevate you among just being a regular staff nurse. These certifications not only allow you to get bonuses that hospitals might offer, but also might position you into certain roles that allow you to become an educator, nurse manager, whatever it might be. And again, some of these roles that you can go into and only have your BSN include charge nurse, SANE nurse, nurse manager, nurse educator or nurse case manager. Other rules that do not require you to go back for a higher degree that you can work in with your BSN degree include pharmaceutical sales rep, insurance, nurse legal consultant, and finally you can become a clinical instructor at any local college. So just to reiterate this, nursing school is a lot for a lot of people. It was emotionally and mentally draining. I know that a lot of people are not too quick to go back to school just because, you know, that took a lot out of them and they need a few years to get back on their feet before they embark on going back to school and potentially working at the same time. And also on the other side of that token, there are a lot of people that I have talked to that have done bedside nursing for a few months six to seven to eight months and they are waiting until their one year mark to get away from the bedside and that is completely okay bedside nursing is not for everybody um, and some people know what goals that they have set and they want to advance their career and get to that end goal and destination as quickly as possible and there's nothing wrong with that so I definitely encourage you guys to do your research and not feel as though Bedside nursing is the end all be all. Again, there's nothing wrong with bedside nursing. However, you don't have to feel stuck. You don't have to feel like you have to go into tens of thousands of dollars in debt, going and getting a higher level degree to advance yourself within the nursing profession. So that is all. I hope that you guys found this helpful. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up. If there are any nursing myths that you guys want me to cover in a future video, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.